are praying for the sick and shut in and those who desire prayer. For prayer is the key to the kingdom and faith unlocks the door. Our prayer list this morning includes Brother John Lee Jones, Brother Benny Brooks, Brother Jerome Whitaker, Brother and Sister Paul Lowe, Sister Rita Belcher, Sister Misty Williams, Sister La Cambria Hatton, Pastor and First Lady Marvin Perry, Brother Alfred Henderson, Sister Jasmine Washington, the entire New Lake Grove Church family, our military, Brother Kenneth Nance, Sister Denise Patterson. We're also always praying for our first responders, medical staff, and our local, state, and national leaders. We are also praying for everyone who has been affected by the pandemic. As we've mentioned in the previous weeks, please continue to wear your mask, wash your hands, and please continue to practice safe social distancing. Thanks and God bless.
few announcements for today. The first one is just a reminder that we do have in-person service on the first and third Sunday of each month, which are being held in the L.C. Jones Family Life Center. Before entering the building, we take your temperature, sign you and your family in, and we provide mask and hand sanitizer. On August the 4th at 7 p.m., we will have Bible study in the Family Life Center. Pastor Nance will give more details about more dates at a later time. We are so excited for our next project that is coming soon. We have a project for our children. It's the Bible Story Time with Lady Anna. This will be a short Bible study and video by our very own First Lady, Sister Anna Nance, and other special guest readers. Please be on the lookout for a premiere date and time for this project. Our last announcement for today, the New Lake Grove Missionary Baptist Church Mass Choir will be releasing a concert video. The day and time for this will be coming soon, so please be on the lookout for that as well. Please continue to stay safe. God loves you and so do we. Thanks and God bless. of it all, this day that we choose to worship, I know we deal with social distancing, but I'm still happy to be in the service of the Lord. So I have to tell you. I just want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Somebody don't get it. It should have been me.
I watched him die. Family out here clowning. And we talk about Black Lives Matter. All right now. That's all I'm gonna say. If you have your Bible, I'm going to Psalms 51. All right. 51 number of Psalms. All right. Something God gave that I want to share with you. We got a long way to go. All right. Amen. But we don't get there. All right. Now the backdrop of what I'm going in Psalm 51, um, you'll find the story in 2 Samuel, the 11th chapter. All right. All right. Are y'all ready? Psalm 51, uh-huh. verses 7 through 10. Y'all ready? ready? Purge me with his son. Right. And I shall be clean. Wash me. And I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness. That the bone which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins. And blot out all mine iniquities. Here's my verse. Create in me. A clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. But y'all, I want to talk about for a second. We need to clean up what we messed up. All right, all right, all right. We need to clean up. Clean up. Now, being a young man, you know, we grew up in a time where boys were boys. <laughs> and me and my brothers, we would sleep four of us, five of us, two beds, five boys. Can you imagine the athlete feet, room smell like corn chips? Come on, talk to me. Come on, Alvin. It got so bad that my daddy said, clean up this mess. All right, now. Mm-hmm. I was going to Yeah. And God is making that statement in the world and the church today. All right. All right. It's time we clean up uh-huh. what we messed up. That's it, bro. That's it. That's right. You see, we messed up. Amen. Let's tell the truth. We have made some fatal flaws with God. Amen. I'm not trying to preach on doom and gloom. I'm trying to help us get healed. All right now. All right. We are in a mess. Amen. So help me. We have messed up, we are in a mess, because sometimes we get messy. All right. I'm, going, I'm going somewhere. Can I break it down to you? The word mess means a dirty, untidy thing or place. Uh-huh. All right. It's one thing to have on dirty clothes. It's another thing to have a dirty heart. All right. All right. Uh-huh. It's some dirty folks in this world. And some of them, how can I say this? They in church. In my time of pastor, some of the most dirtiest folks I ever met call themselves saints. The word mess means a state of affairs that is difficult or full of confusion. It's full of confused now. Anytime a man think another man like a woman, he confused. All right, now. Yes, sir. Anytime a woman think another woman, I, I, y'all, I'm going to say it again. I can never understand this. Why is it that say, say, a same-sex marriage, right? I'm moving on. 
But somebody got to be the husband and somebody got to be the wife. That's confusing. Mess also means something that don't smell good. It stinks. Now, if it smells bad to us and God knows more sense of the mind, don't you think it stinks to him too? Okay. See, Ephesians 5 and 4 says, but fornication and all uncleanness or covenant not once be named among you as the common saint. There are some messy stuff ain't gonna be named on us. That's right. All right. All right. But here's the catch. Anything that is dirty, unclean or untidy is considered unrighteous or sinful. Now Matthew 15 10 says this. It's not what you eat that makes you dirty. That's right. It's what comes out of you That's right. that makes you nasty. That's the word. That's the word. I know we're up here. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. As I said, mess makes one messy. Uh -huh. That word means a situation that's out of control. Difficult to deal with like a messy divorce. There are some messy folks in this world. Oh, yeah. 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 Nothing you tell them won't satisfy. All right. That's right. Amen. Hmm? Now, if we are in a mess, then God wants us to get clean, right? Amen. Clean is the opposite of mess. It means pure, uncontaminated. are produced by clean hands. All right, all right, all right. Clean hands can wash and make a clean heart. All right, all right, all right. I'm going on, y'all, going on. See, Psalm 24, 5, so he that had clean hands that's the word, that's the word. and a pure heart, right. huh? Uh -huh. who has not put their soul in vanity on the seat, it said that God will bless them. If we clean up All right. our hearts, yes, clean up your mind, All right, God said, I will bless. I wish y'all help me. All right. Amen. My, 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 my. He said, they will receive the blessing of our God of his salvation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's the word. Yeah. So now the question is, what makes us dirty? David gives us an answer in Saul and Saul and in a row of Samuel, 2 Samuel 11. Y'all ready for this? All right. It said that when the king was supposed to be at war, yeah, all right now. That's it. he's sitting at home, right. chilling, all right. Take it easy. doing nothing. Right. That's the first step. But Bill said, an idle mind is a devil workshop. Right, yeah. Come on, y'all, let's be real there. Uh -huh. Some of the most trouble I got into when I was doing nothing. All right. All right. I'm almost done, man. You see, an idle mind, I wish y'all got here, will now produce erratic behavior. All right. I'm going somewhere. Here's David. When he should have been out fighting, he chilling. Right. Yeah, and can't you see him look out of his balcony? And he looked, and he saw Bathsheba. Now, according to the text, so Bathsheba had it going on. She was bathing. And David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I see what I want. Come on, talk back to me, y'all. Huh? His erratic behavior made him lax. He got too relaxed. All right, that is so true. Now there are three things that make you dirty in this situation. It's found in 2 John 2.16. It says for the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, 
And the pride of life, David showed all three. He saw it. That's the that's lust of the eye, right? He had it. Lust of the flesh. Now, how did he get it? What's the pride of life? He said, I'm the king. She can't, re she can't reject me. I'm just about done. But guess what happened? She got pregnant. And you know what happened, y'all. Right. David tried to cover up his dirt. That's right. But Reverend Jones said it best one time. You may get by, but you ain't getting away. Right. David made a mess that caused his kingdom to have to suffer. All right. mm -hmm. Look at the United States. Look at the church now. Before this happened, church got so idle. That's right. We stopped doing, we started doing nothing. Yeah. Second, erratic behavior. We folks started doing something, anything in church. Come on, talk to me. All right. We got lax. We didn't believe that God was gonna do something to us. <laughs> All right. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Yes, sir. We let the lust of eye. Look what we got here. All right. All right. Preach that. Lust of the flesh. Wearing two I said something women wear these see more clothes, see more than the clothes. Uh -huh. One of my preachers one, all oh, no. along. <laughs> Brother wearing pants too tight. For what? <laughs> I'm not done. And then the pride of life. Uh -huh. Ain't nobody better than me. Mm -hmm. Now, what got David clean is found in Psalm 51. Uh -huh. The first step to clean up what you mess up. Y'all remember this? Mm -hmm. The first step is you got to be made conscious. All right. All right. Now, you got to be made conscious by the clearing of your conscience. That's right. Two different words sound the same. The word conscious means to be aware. All right. David never would have been aware if Nathan hadn't showed up. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. 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 Can't y'all see what God doing? God trying to raise the church awareness. That's, right. That's a good point. That you are in a mess that you need to clean up. But now he has to challenge your conscience. All right. I'm going somewhere now. I'm about to get happy. How do he do it? If I'm verse one and three of Psalm the one, he said, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to another kind of cause I know to that timber blood out my transgression. Yes, what oh. David understood what the book of Hebrews said. He had to have his conscience washed. Right. Now, what's a conscience? Right. Your conscience is the mental state of your mind that's able to tell what's right or what's wrong. Okay, all right. You got people who got awareness, but they don't have conscience. Mm -hmm. Right. Are y'all hearing me? All right. You got to have conscience and conscience. Now the word conscious means consigned me with knowledge. What affects you with knowledge is what you surround yourself with. All right. mm -hmm. If you hang around mess, you're gonna be messy. Right. Amen. All right. Verses four through six. Read it sometimes for yourself. He has to bring condition and confession. All right. All right. This is in the text. He said against thee. That's right. That's right. See, let me help y'all quickly. We need to stop saying sin is the cause of it all. That's not the truth. Oh, yeah. It's your choice to sin. That's, right. That's the cause of it all. all, right. all right. Satan didn't make Eve eat the fruit. Amen. She chose Eve. That's right. That's right. That's right. Satan didn't make David sleep by Sheba. That's his choice. Amen. Yes, sir. Satan didn't make me do what I did. I chose. All right. All right. Come on, y'all. But when we keep forgetting, choices carry consequences. Please, God. That's right, right. That's right. Show sure not. So David 
said, this is my condition. Against thee and the only, I have to, not now, I, I'm a, I'm, I, I gotta be here. Listen to David's pronunciation of what's going on. Every word he used was a personal pronoun. All right, all right. He didn't say, I didn't say what Charlie said. He said, I. That's right. If you want God to clear some mess, there's some stuff you're going to have to acknowledge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's some stuff. Quick, look at the other mess and clear up your own mess. Right. Preach, God. So tired of Negro word about what John doing. Look at you. Amen. You ain't stopped lying yet. The Bible says, how can you get the log out of somebody else's eye or get the split out of their eye? You got a log in your eye. That's right. Amen. Let me move on. Mm. David made his confession. Behold, I was shaken in the name. Uh -huh. Huh? And in sin did my mother conceive. In other words, you born with a sinful nation. Amen. You ain't got to teach your baby to lie. They ain't born with it. That's all right. That's all right. You ain't got to teach a skill to cook. You're born knowing how to do that. But you have to be told to live right. All right, all right. Now verse 7 through 12, the pot way to be cleansed is repentance. All right. Amen. Now, 2 Corinthians 17 says, for godly sorrow, we're repentant that you have to be ashamed. Why don't I have to be ashamed? Godly sorrow means I'm grieved by what I do. Now repentance carries three things I'm done. I'm about to done. It means to think different, All right. to feel different, All right. and to act different. Yes. I'm going to say it again. Repentance means to think different, uh -huh. to feel different, yeah. uh -huh. to act different. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this is for you. Peter and Judas committed the same thing. What's the difference? One repented and the other one did. All right. Can, I'm, I'm gonna talk more because I said three of about done. You can be sorry for something and not change by. That's right. That's right. Cause some folks just sorry because they got caught. Right. <laughs> sure did. That's right. You see folks that are in court after they got sent. Well, I want y'all to pray for me. You weren't saying that when you were doing what you're doing. That's right. I'm moving on. Yes, sir. So so now what's the problem we cleanse? He said, purge me. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. See, purge means God needs to take some stuff out of it. That's right. right. Yes, sir. Hmm? Now, what is it? Yes, sir. This was the Levitical plant that was used to sprinkle you with to uh -huh. clean you up. That's right. <laughs> Christ is our yes, sir. Yes, All right. Sir. Yes, sir. Show sure up. <laughs> Y'all missed it. He is the one that can cleanse the <laughs> Please don't preach. I heard brother Benham say, he can make a pimp into a, a preacher. All right, Take a prostitute and make a missionary out of her. Yes, Take a drug and make a deacon. Because if he accepts that he needs Christ to sprinkle his country yes, sir. and change their heart. And I shall be clean and washed. Yes, I shall be whiter than snow. All right. Mm. When you get it right with God, yes, sir. you can be able to say the, the things yes, sir. that I used to do. Right. Yes, sir. Can't do no more. Can't do no more. Come on now. The places, places that I used to go. Yes, sir. Can't go no more. Uh -huh. All right. He said, I shall make you whiter than the snow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I get a witness here? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I feel my health coming. He said, now make me to hear joy and gladness. That's what he said. Yeah. That the bones which thou hast broken. <laughs> there go again. The last time I told y'all we made no broken pieces. Yeah. But you got to know that God is trying to break us. Yes, sir. All right. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which thou hast broken, may rejoice. Mm -hmm. In other words, repentance brings about restoration. All right, all right. God is trying to restore the church.
And then look at verse 9. This was what happened when he cleaned it up. Hide thy faith from my sins and brought out all my iniquities. All right. Is somebody here on to say, Lord, I've done a whole lot of mess. Yes, if you don't do nothing for me, Lord, just blot out that stuff. The word blot means wipe that stuff out yes, and never come back again. Yeah. I heard the word of Isaiah said that God said if you confess it yes, and get the condition of your heart right, yes, I will cast that stuff into the sea of forgetfulness. Yeah. Never, I like that, never to be brought against you again. Can I get with it here? Oh. Created me. I know that word create. It means to bring something in existence based on the condition of what I do. Can I get with it here? Bring it to existence based on the condition of what I do. In other words, God can create a clean heart. If you're just willing to meet conditions. Yeah. And uh, he told me renew in me. A right spirit within me. <laughs> Can I do with you? Yeah. We need a creation. Oh, renewal. Every now and again. Hey, there's sometimes an oil on you. But I'm so glad. So glad, so glad, yeah. There are some things I can't shout out. There are some things that we like can't be quite. Oh yeah. There are some things I can't shout out. There are some things that I can't fix. But I have. I found the deal with blood yeah. right. Going from yeah. Emmanuel Bay yeah. Sinner the blue No That blue will stay I got to get out of here, y'all I was just like David Yes, I was I was thinking Come back, darling. He said, I'm coming back.
heard from heaven this morning. My God. Thank you, Doctor. Later, amen. You need to clean up what you messed up. Stop blaming everybody else for something you did. Clean up what you messed up. The doors of the church is open. You may come. You may come. You may come. There was a time that we need to give our life to Jesus. It's the day and now we live in it. The Lord is so to come. We're not trying to scare anybody. That's a fact. Yes, sir. Amen. The Bible says, for one jot or one tittle of my word fail, heaven and earth will pass away. Jesus promised in his word he was coming to get us. Coming back, amen. And soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Glory to God. you clean up what you messed up. Glory to God. My prayer, my prayer, my prayer, my prayer, my prayer is that that God will put in you a hunger Amen. and a thirst yes, sir. Yes, sir. for the word of God. Amen. For the Bible says, he that hunger and thirst for righteousness yes. shall be filled. Right. I don't see that hunger and thirst anymore. Amen. Say that again. The door is just about closed, shut. Summer at the end and you still ain't saved. What's wrong? What's the matter? Oh, Jesus. After hearing the word on this morning. Glory to God. I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. I'm asking God, Lord, Lord, give me that thirst. Give me that hunger for you. For the Bible declared, the Bible declared that, that in the last days, that there would come a hunger and thirst. Not for bread and water, but for the word of God. And I believe God is going to drive us back to our knees. Back to prayer. This coronavirus, COVID-19, is driving us back to prayer. If my people, which are called on my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek his faith and turn from that wicked wickedness, he promised you we're here from him. It's not over until God says it's over. The Bible said the righteous should shine, shine like the noonday sun. Let your light so shine. I don't care what the world is doing. You let your light shine. That men will see your good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. So there got to be a God somewhere. Live the life.
Thank God for that word. 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 Thank God. As the bow here, we get ready to close this service out. As we want to stand, Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you for your word on today. The man of God that brought your word on today. If we leave this place but not God present, go with us, strengthen us, bring us back to the point in time. We give you praise, yes, glory, and honor. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling. Yes, sir. And present you faultless. Thank you. Before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be power and dominion forever. This we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. And let the church say amen. 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 Amen.